Hi everybody, how's it going today? Thanks for watching another video. Seeing our uh, Bobcat payload right here, moving some manure from our uh, heifer barn to our milking cow barns and manure from our dry cow pen over here that's bedded with sand bedding. We have, uh, we're going to be cleaning the bedded pack pens in our heifer barn here today. Sam got started on the south the south pens of the feed alley here this morning. We'll try to get the south side done here today, do the north side tomorrow morning. That's uh, the plan anyways. It's, uh, it's uh, freezing in the mornings and then in the next couple days we're going to start hitting some 50s uh, during the day so I want to get, get those pens cleaned out one more time here before the ground is not frozen anymore at night so we can get that solid manure sp spread onto our uh, field right away that's what we're working on this morning here we've talked about it before in the past but we bed one pen of far off dry cows in our heifer barn with sand all the other pens are bedded on separated manure solids so we uh, handle that manure separately in that barn and we bring it over to our milking barns dump it right here over top of this I don't know if you guys can quite see that but there's a gutter with an auger in it here and we're just milking the last pen in our north barn they'll be coming to the south barn here in the next 15-20 uh, minutes and then we'll work that manure into the gutter with the skid steer because we want to separate that manure we want to separate the sand from that manure so we can reuse it as bedding. So we uh, haul that manure over here twice a day in the morning and the afternoon because we clean the pens in our heifer barns. In our heifer barn twice a day. So we're loading that manure up right away on our manure spreader here, pulling it with our 942, and spreading it on the field. Saves uh, save the job of piling it out back in our solid manure storage area and then having to load it again. So we move the cows out front to the uh, manure alley. Quite steamy in here this morning. It's a little, it was a little chilly this morning. We've got half these pens moved to the front now. Once it gets close, then I'll move the other half. As you can see, the pens are not super full, but we don't like to let these pens get too full because then it's difficult to get these gates open and closed when we're putting bedding in. Just about halfway here already. Goes pretty quick. Clean these pens probably uh, five, six times a year. Actually, try to do it a little more often because then it doesn't take as long because there's not as much uh, straw and manure in here.
Just finished cleaning these pens out now. Jose Luis putting straw back in here. We just bring whole bales in and then spread them out with the payloader. I did fly my drone when Sam was spreading uh, one of the loads of manure out on the field. You can see we got a little bit of a snow dusting this morning, but didn't amount to much. And you'll probably see on the video that there's some big pipes coming through the field. I'll probably talk about that more this spring. There's a 72 inch water line coming through our field south of the dairy. That water line project, they started on it last year on our field and hopefully they'll get it done this summer, but they work incredibly slow and to be honest, don't do a very good job uh, taking care of our, our soil. They leave a lot of trash everywhere. It's been kind of a mess really, but talk about it more once they get started on it here this spring. Hopefully they can get that done as soon as possible here this summer so we can maybe get a cover crop planted over over those acres that they uh, go through but it's quite a mess and it's a, a very large pipe 72 inch a six foot pipe water pipe you move a lot of water we'll get the bale shook out here it's a little past lunchtime already or a little past noon and then uh Jose Luis, Sam and Christian are going to go for lunch and then move some uh, calves out of our calf barn after lunch you ready to go back in the straw Putting one bale per pen in here now, but when going forward after the first time, then we put half a bale per pen in. And bet about every, I don't know, every two, three days, kind of depends on the weather. How are you guys doing? I think we'll end the video here once they start opening the gates. I think I'll uh, film that, but questions, comments, post them down below. Appreciate you guys watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next video.